Uh, Ernie, are you over there? Come on out here and meet all these lovely people. Now, come on, Ernie. They're not going to throw anything at you. They couldn't hit you if they wanted to. <laughs> Come on, Ernie, now. Feel the hand, feel the hand, please. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my manager. Now, you see this? This is my wife's allowance check. Every week, Ernie takes it to her. Isn't that right, Ernie? How is my wife these days? Uh, she's okay. No, come on, speak up, Ernie. How is my wife these days? We've got a pan audience out there. How is she? She's okay. Fine, fine. I hope she lives through the first of the year. I need her as a tax deduction. <laughs> okay, Ernie, run on along now and deliver that check to her. No, no, oh, Ernie. And tell her not to leave a light on in the window. I don't want to stumble in there by accident. <laughs> Still a little rusty, but I finished this this morning. How do you like it, Ernie? Uh, fine, fine. But, Martha, will you please listen to me a minute? I told you, I don't want any more of his money. Go on and take it. He'll chew me up if you don't. You really are afraid of him, aren't you, Ernie? Oh, Sid's all right. A little stubborn. But as long as you're his wife, he'll always take care of you. Is this his idea of taking care of me? Martha. I'm sorry things didn't work out for you and Sid. You were good for him. But some guys don't like things that are good for them. Sid thinks that the only thing in the world that's good for him is money. Now you can tell him he can start saving my share. I'm going to get a divorce, Ernie. Is that what you really want? I'm fed up with being just one of his possessions. Something else to make fun of. Good for a few laughs. But divorce is so final. I thought my marriage was final. Maybe you should give us some more time. More time? Yeah. What for? I haven't seen Sid in months. Oh, he's an odd guy, but he was really in love with you. There's certain things that he needs. He needs a... Success. That's what he needs. Well, now he has it. So he doesn't need me. Well, if that's the way you feel. Uh, Sid wanted me to tell you that he'll take care of the divorce. He wants me to get him a booking in Vegas. How very thoughtful of him. <laughs> to save me the trip. Well, $150. dollars we were married, he didn't have 150 cents. Now, maybe that's what he can't forget. Maybe so. Tell Sid I don't want any alimony. I'm going back to work. But thank him for this check. I needed it after all. What are you, what are you going to do? I'm going to give Sid a little present. Something he would never give me. What? A child. Good, good. You went over real good tonight. Are you kidding? Come on in here. I got a problem for you. Take a look at that lady. There? On the table there. Don't get excited, please. Uh, Save the Children Federation. Well, I suppose they want money. What's that about that? Everybody wants money. We already got money. My money, according to that. Oh? Oh, what's that mean? Uh, I mean, oh, so you're sponsoring a kid in Europe. Oh, well, good for you. You wouldn't try to make a sucker out of me, would you, Ernie? Did you send him some money? No, Sid, I uh, should. What's the gag? Maybe it's just a mistake. Uh, somebody in the office sent you the wrong stuff. 
Maybe they meant to send, uh, send a letter asking for some dough and they, they got a hold of this instead. Ernie, that is not a form letter. It states there that I sent 150 bucks to support some underprivileged kid in some town that I never even heard of. And these things came along with it, too, about how tough things are in the world today as if I cared. So you don't care? Then forget about it. It didn't cost you anything. That is not the point. Nobody makes a sucker out of me with this little orphan Annie act. Maybe you're starting to believe your own billing too much, Sid. Yeah, maybe that's right. Yeah. So do a lot of other people. I'm a cynic, Ernie. The world is full of hypocrites and Pollyannas, that's why I make such a good living being a cynic. And I'm not gonna let anybody foul it up by saying that I'm playing Santa Claus to a bunch of war orphans, you understand? I understand. I'll take care of it. Yeah, you do that. After all, I'm already supporting an underprivileged manager, isn't that right? Yeah, I guess that's right. Uh, Martha, look. We're friends, you and me. For my sake, please. I'm sorry, Ernie. Actually, I don't see where you come into the picture. Through Sid. That's where. And if I don't clear this situation up, he'll have my scalp. That is clear enough, isn't it? I bought him a sponsorship of a little girl in Europe. I think it's the kind of present he needs. That's not just exactly the way he looks at it. Just how does Sid look at it? He figures somebody's trying to make a sucker out of him. Really? Drink your milk, Ernie. Yeah, the situation's not helping my ulcer. Martha, couldn't you write a letter and call this whole thing off? Or take credit for the kid in your own name? You could do that, couldn't you? Just how does Sid figure that somebody's trying to make a sucker out of him? He's got a reputation to protect. You know, cynical Sid, the bitter comic. Do you believe that? Who cares what I believe? According to Sid, his public likes him to be a tough, shrewd, selfish guy because they're all that way themselves. But they're afraid to admit it. Sid's only worry is protecting his reputation with himself. He's afraid to admit that he might be human and soft and vulnerable. I saw him change over the time we were together, Ernie. The, the harder he got, the more successful he got. Now he's afraid to let himself do anything that might be decent. I'm no psychiatrist. These things are too deep for me. And if I expect to collect commissions as his manager, I've got to get that kid off his back one way or the other. You tell Sid that if he doesn't like my present, he can come and complain to me. I didn't want him to know that you were behind all this. I was really hoping that you two would get together again. You're very sweet, Ernie. Then how about calling off this charity gag, huh? No. Now finish your milk and get out of here. Thanks. For the milk, I mean. I'm sorry about the other. I wasn't trying to work you. I meant every word of it. Sid, about that Vegas date, I had to put it off for a while. Frank is going to hold over for a month and Here, read this. What? The Broadway column, halfway down. Where is that? Well, read it, out loud. What supposedly cynical nightclub comic is supporting an underprivileged child in Europe? Is there a heart of gold behind that brass front? See, Sid, you're just a sweet old faker. Well, how about it? Can we demand a retraction of the Mars column? Sid, I'm sorry. I couldn't fix it. I told you to get me out of this. Look at it this way. This kid is publicity, and that don't hurt. When I want to play this bleeding heart publicity stuff, I'll go down on Times Square and give dimes to bums. Now, who's behind this deal? Your old pal, Martha. I should have known. So that's why you want to postpone the Las Vegas deal, huh? Give you time to patch things up, save the marriage, and get me a kid to boot. Well, it won't work. Turn in your ulcer, Ernie. You're fired. <laughs> 